Welcome guys, I am Subha Malik and in this video I will be showing you how to add margins in PowerPoint. So we will be viewing this guide from KDP that is setting trim size and margins. That is that guide is for Microsoft Word. But in this video we will be using PowerPoint to add margins for our low or no content book interior. So here on the KDP page that's the main page is build your book format a paperback manuscript in Word or Windows. We just scroll down to the section that is setting trim size and margins and here we can see the margins for different number of pages or uh, different books that has different number of pages. So before doing this, if you are new to my channel, then do subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new video from me. So let's get started. So here we can see that is the page count that is inside margin, which is also known as gutter. And that is outside margins for no bleed book. And that last one is outside margins for book with bleed. So normally our books are within this range that is 24 to 150 pages most of the books especially low content books fall under this category so for that book our inside margin or gutter would be at least 0.375 inches which accounts for 9.6 millimeter the outside margin would be for no bleed it would be point 0.25 inches and a book with bleed will also have a outside margin of 0.375 from the top from the bottom and from the outside this is also for top and bottom inside margin would be 0.735 for no, uh, a book with no bleed and the other three outside margins from top bottom and from the outside would be 0.25 inches so keeping these guidelines in mind we are going to create a book interior that is 8.5 into 11 inches and we will be creating margins for that in PowerPoint so I have already opened this PowerPoint template let's just resize this just go to size and then slide size and then custom slide custom slide size here we will be adding inches first we will be creating no bleed, book with no bleed so 8.5 inches into 11 inches that is no bleed okay hit okay and then click on ensure fit so there are many ways to add margins firstly we will be looking at the very simple way that is go to view home then go to view and then click on guides then you will see these guidelines these guides vertically and horizontally these are aligned centered so if we need to add margins just come here and hold control from your keyboard then just drag while holding control button from your keyboard then just 3.75 Firstly, we need to have the calculations that is 0 and total width is 8.5. So, let's calculate our margins that is 8.5 divided by 2, 4.5. 4.5 is here toward the left and 4.5 which is toward the right side so out of this 4.25 we need to subtract 0.375 so this guideline should stay at 3.875 so we will we will need to move this at 3875 3.8 almost 
This is a complex or difficult way to add margins. The other uh, uh, outside margin which would be 0.25 again come, come over here and then while holding control from your keyboard just, just drag and leave this on to exactly 4 as we already know that is 4.25 so we will be leaving 0.25 toward the outside so here we have kept our margins at 3.875 just move it to 8 8 8 okay to 8 exactly 8 that is 3.83 and we can if you zoom in and can move it to that would be very difficult however we will be also discussing a very easy way to do that and so you need to sit stick around and watch that too so then we this is easy easier one because this is almost that is 11 height is 11 so let's calculate height is 11 divided by 2 why I am dividing it by 2 because this is the center is 0 and it counts 5.5 5.5 inches here and 5.5 inches here so out of this 5.5 we will need to subtract 0.25 from the top and 0.25 inches from the bottom so this would become 5.25 so just come here and hold control from your keyboard and just drag and leave it on 5.25 like this then again come here and hold control from your keyboard and just drag drag and leave it on point two five. this is the way to add margins this is cutter that is almost at 3.75 inches and this is outside margin at 0.25 inches this is top 0.25 inches and this is bottom 0.25 inches this is the first way to add margins you will be adding your interior in this within this area but the only problem with this type of margins is if you create this is correct for the left page but when you create the right page that is the right hand side page uh, sorry the first one was the right hand side page and with the very first page of a book and the second is the left side page for left side page you need to shuffle these margins because the right margins for right side page is different than margin for right side page so so will you will need to move this toward 4 and move this toward 8.75 you can leave it at 3.8 so every time you need to shuffle these margins if you are using these guides so avoid this you can also use make use of shapes to create margins for that so let's add margins in a very simple way so just hide these guidelines and firstly calculate our margins and interior size so our width is 8.75 8 point uh, not 75 8.5 so we will subtract our inside margin from this minus point three seven five again subtract the outside margin point two five point two five 
now we are we are left with 7.875 so this would be our width of safe area 7.875 then we need to calculate the height that is 11 that is 11.0 minus 0.25 from the top and again minus 0.25 from the bottom so it would be 10.5 so we are now left with 7.875 into 10.5 so we will be creating a shape of this size then go to insert shapes and just add this rectangle and draw a rectangle here like this then we already know our height 10.5 into 7.875 so this would be our size for the in safe area now we will go to shape and we will hit no fill for the shape and then we will go to outline and hit select a color black now we have uh, all we have to do just delete this one we need to place this according to our margins so just click on this then right click and go to shape and size and position and here just click on the position and this is horizontal positions just click right three seven five and click here so now click here and shape format and hit align set align middle okay now we have aligned our right hand page create created margins file right hand page this is the cutter or inside margin and this is the outside margin this is the top and this is the bottom so just duplicate this here now we need to shuffle these margins you need to only do just right click select this one right click size and position and just change the horizontal position to 25 only and hit here now we have created different margins for our left right hand right side page and this is left side page just you need to add your interior here and here and then once you have in, uh, created your interior just select these in pairs click duplicate and then go come here on these pages and create interior here and here if the book is consists of two pages only then you can select and uh, control plus d and you can create, create hundreds of pages in this way now we will be showing uh, we will need to review our pages and then go to slideshow and from the beginning as you can see this is the very first page the number one page that are uh, that is tr traditionally on the left side uh, on the right hand side sorry and then the next page is on the left side so you can see the difference in this way your margins will be perfect and your book interior would be perfect according to kdp guidelines so this is the easiest way to create margins so once you are done with your interior now let me show you a better way to understand and use this in a better way so you don't need to delete the margins on every slide for that purpose you need to go to slide master so just click here control plus c copy this and then go to view and then come here and click on the one of this template click here control plus a and delete and then control plus v so uh, this is our page 
and just rename this la uh, layout this would be our left page left page rename this and then control plus d to duplicate this one and then shuffle the margins like we did before size and position and change these to 375 and click ok so this would be our left page uh, right page sorry right hand side page and just click rename now we have two layouts so just close this and come here and delete these boxes uh, delete, delete these boxes just duplicate and then we have two pages the first one is on the right side right hand side the very first page of the book just click here right click here then go to layout and select the our created layout that is right side so now come here and layout and select the left hand side page so what is the benefit of using this the main benefit is just start creating your interiors and once you have done with your interiors of 100 pages like this and i have created 72 pages then you don't need to go to every single page and delete this box just you need to go to view slide master select your page just delete from here and come here on the second layout just delete here and then close you can see the margin guides have been deleted from all the pages so this is this these are the simple hacks and trick tips and tricks you can use to create interiors and margins for your books for low content and no content books so in the next video we will be creating margins for a book with bleed so thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video and that is all for me today see you in the next video